On this day, 20 years ago, EA Sports released NASCAR 2005 Chase for the Cup for the sixth generation of home consoles, which are the original Xbox, PlayStation 2, and the Nintendo GameCube based on the 2004 NASCAR season and their new championship format called The Chase. Well, in my opinion, NASCAR 2005 Chase for the Cup was the last great NASCAR game that EA Sports released before they came out with lower quality games and choose not to renew their gaming license in 2009. Heck, even the later non-EA Sports games are mediocre or just straight out junk. In this video, I'll do a retrospective on NASCAR 2005 Chase for the Cup. EA Sports, it's in the game. EA Sports. It's in the game. NASCAR 2005 Chase for the Cup. Two years before 2005 Chase for the Cup, EA Sports came out with two bangers, NASCAR Thunder 2003 and 2004, based on the first game in the Thunder series, Thunder 2002. What does this have to do with 05 Chase for the Cup? Well, this game would have some of the previous features of the last two games, which were Thunder Plates, Lightning Challenges, Car Creation, and Career Mode. Well, kind of. In this game, Career Mode is instead called Fight to the Top, where you first race off Ryan Newman in the prologue and then start your way up from the Modifieds to the Cup Series. In this game, EA Sports used a previous feature from NASCAR Thunder 2004 called the Share Draft, but they improved and spiced it up, unlike in Thunder 2004 where you could accidentally bump your opponents and make a new rival the entire race. You can now intimidate your opponents without bumping or wrecking them. Not only that, they also include Speed Zone challenges, but now it's called the Dodge Speed Zone. Despite this being a copy and paste from the previous NASCAR Thunder games, they added two new features to the game. The first one has the X-Mini series, the Craftsman Truck series, the Modified series, and the weirdest series, the production cars from the Viper, Ford GT, SRT4, Corvette, Magnum, Mustang GT, Daytona Prototypes, and the Ford SVT Lightning Truck. This feature has been in a previous game, Dirt to Daytona, but that wasn't an EA Sports NASCAR game. And the second new feature they added is the Chase for the Cup based on the new point system from the 2004 NASCAR Cup Series. The game cover was originally going to have Jeremy Mayfield, but instead they went with Kevin Harvick, but we don't talk about a season after this game was released. The game isn't all perfect, like every game some flaws are preventing you from calling the game perfect. This game was the last NASCAR game on the GameCube. They removed a few features from the last games which are widescreen which you could uh, maybe get with a few patches on emulators or Nintendo but I would rather play it on its original aspect ratio and the better career mode from Thunder 2004 which lets you build your team from the ground up. Well, the legacy that this game left after 20 years is Ross Chastain's video game move that he did in the 2022 Xfinity 500 when he um, was being interviewed post-race. He mentioned that he did the wall ride move in NASCAR 2005 on the GameCube, which is shocking because I barely hear any NASCAR driver mention their sports video games. And you can play this game on an emulator on modern computer hardware or if you want to play this game on a console, you can uh, use an original fat PlayStation 3 or a modded PS3 in general, a GameCube compatible Wii, and a Wii U with Nintendo on the Wii menu or with t Moon's VC injector. And that is going to end the video, thank you guys for watching. If you want to see me try to recreate Kurt Busch's 2004 championship season in this game, stay tuned to that because that is coming soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is the Canica Hearn 27, signing out.